Okay, as you can see, I have a quilt, and this quilt was made by 30 different women. And so, this, let me show you um, a few of the women. This square right here, uh, let's see if I can fix it so that you can see it. It says, Mrs. Lee. Well, that's my great-grandmother. And this one is my Aunt May. This is my mama. This one is my great aunt. And that's my granny Ida. There's my Aunt Molly. And there's my great aunt Maddie Tillery. There's a story behind her. <laughs> But that's for later. But this quilt was given to me when my grandmother's and great aunt passed away. And I've had the privilege to put it and let it hang in a place of honor. 30 women got together at a quilting bee and as you can see each one is embroidered and signed by the person who made the squares. Some of them I know and some of them I will never know. It's like, I know Mrs. Stewart, she was a teacher at Goshen Elementary. And Thelma Wombles, my great, another great, um, I think she was my great cousin. I don't think she was an aunt. And Rebecca Laughlin. Most of these women are have passed away and uh, I only know three that are still living and that's my Aunt Molly, my Aunt May, and my mama. I have been offered a thousand dollars for this quilt by a family member and as you can see I still have the quilt. One day, I would like to see, we have a uh, museum not too far away from here in Pike County, Alabama. And people have donated treasured items. And one day I'd like to uh, see if they would like to share and have this quilt because nowadays women don't get together and so they're all too busy and uh, but this quilt hangs on my wall and at the beginning of uh, my video you can see a picture where it hangs on my wall not only does it it's like see this beats a stick this stick let's see if I can get a close up 
see the little marks on it? This stick was made by a beaver and given to me by a friend. And so I thought it very unique as well as this quilt. And so they go perfect together. If it's old and rusted, leave it that way, I say, because it shows what time has done. But this quilt is one of my prized possessions. And if someone was to offer me a million dollars, I would still say no. Just because the women who got together and put it together. A friendship quilt. They're rare. So if you ever find one and somebody's actually got it up for sale, you best grab them because they're hard to come by. And so, until next time, I'll see you later.